Hello friends, here now in this video we're going to learn the sum rule of finding derivative, right? First I will make you understood what is sum rule and how we use this to find the derivative. It is nothing than a process or a procedure of finding derivative, right? So don't confuse it is not a so hard and fast rule or such a difficult rule. It's very very simple. It's just an algebraic rule that you are using in normal algebra or normal addition like that, right? So it is saying simply, see, if you have a function hx equal with function fx, you can say plus or minus, both it is possible, right? And another function gx. Here, if the two functions are going to be added or subtracted, fx and gx, and that is going to equal with another function hx, or simply you can say the function hx is the sum or the difference of the two functions, fx and gx, that time we need to find out now derivative of the function hx so the derivative of the function hx is given like this very simple the derivative of the function h of x is equal with the derivative of the function f of x depending on the situation it may be plus or minus again derivative of the function g of x means the derivative of the, this function h of x is just algebraic sum of the individual derivative of those two functions or algebraic difference between the derivative of the two those individual uh, functions right uh, somewhere you might have seen this in books somehow like this derivative of function h of x with respect to x is equal with derivative of the function f of x plus derivative of the function g of x so anyhow you can represent it doesn't matter right it may be plus or minus depends on the situation how we have so I'm just giving a very simple example and then uh, I, will, I, will, I will do some more problems uh, a little bit complex problem I'll be doing and th this will give you more concept suppose I have a function y equals to 1 1 function is here 3x square and here it is you can say um, 8 x to the power 9 right simple this is so here I can suppose this is my one function and this is my another function and the y function y is the sum of the two functions 3x square and 8x to the power 9 so we have already learned the power rule by using the power rule I will do one by one it may be plus or minus right depends on the situation but here I'm just taking plus so derivative of the function y with respect to x is equal with now power rule use, I'm using first first let me write this derivative of the dx that is 3x square plus again derivative of the function 8x to the power 9 it is right so now individually I'm going to do so it will be as I told you simply by using the algebraic law we'll be using uh, I will be finding out the derivative dy by dx is the sum of the individual derivative I need to find out the derivative of this part and this part and then I'll add it All right so derivative of this 3 times x to the power 2 will be now the first I'll write the coefficient times the power times variable should be raised with one less in power so 2 minus 1 again dx over the dx and now this plus right this plus okay and now whatever it is so derivative of 8 times x to the power 9 so first I'll write the coefficient right this is 8 times was a problem pain is again making problem sorry and then uh, what about the uh, power we have that is 9 again times the variable should be raised one less in power 9 minus 1 again times dx over the dx right I just separate out I mean I just find out the derivative of this part and then this part and I will add it that's it so now what I'm going to get here it is 3 times 2 that is 6 x to the power 1 so 2 minus 1 I don't have to write here 1 and dx over dx that is 1 right and let me write also this is 1 and then plus 8 times 9 that is 72 times x to the power minus see 9 minus 1 that will be 8 and this quantity will be this quantity will be 1 so finally what I'm going to get the answer yes my dy over the dx is going to be equal with 6x plus 72x to the power 8 answer right that's it so how easy it is to use the power rule right one more a complex problem I'll be doing I think the video is going to be longer so I'll be doing in the next video all right we'll be doing the next video bye bye